Another way to trade the 138.2% Fibonacci extension. Another way to trade the 138.2% Fibonacci extension. All right. Apart from everything else that we have discussed before, talking about the 138.2% Fibonacci extension during a bullish progression and also during a bearish progression, I want to show traders another way one can use the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. All right. So to refresh the memory of trader, we said to traders before that if uh, a financial instrument is going up from A to B and form the first higher, higher high, which is right here, and the price breaks above that high, price break above this high here, the first challenge for the bullish progression is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level of the prior move. So the prior price action is the prior bullish price action from A to B. So if the price breaks above this high here, the first challenge for the bullish progression after the breakout above this high here is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. This is what we have said to traders before. Okay. Today I want to show traders another way that we can also use okay, the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. All right. So I assume that traders know how to set a price target. So how do we set a price target for a head and shoulder chart pattern? How do we set a price target for the inverted head and shoulder chart pattern? How do we set a price target for uh, a round button? Okay, how do we set a price target uh, for a triangle? All right, assume that traders know how to set a price target using chart patterns. All right, so on these charts, we have here a triangle, so we can see that uh, uh, the euro dollar was going down on this four hour chart, and uh, right here we see this triangle here. Okay, we see the triangle triangle that I draw my chart here. And normally, if uh, a financial instrument is going down for some time, and suddenly we see a triangle at the end, we assume, okay, the first expectation is that there's a likely that we may see a reversal because uh, a triangle at the bottom of a downtrend is a loud warning that there is a possibility that the price may change direction. So this is what has happened here. So you can see that it was going down, and then we see this triangle here. How do we set the target for this triangle? We'll measure, we will measure the height of the triangle and put it, okay, right here. That's our conservative target, all right? So initially, as the price is out of the triangle here, the the first target that traders are watching is this level here. I'm going to color it now into red, okay? That's the red line on my chart, the red horizontal line. So price out of it here. The target is this one here, the, 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 the red line here. So what we need to understand is that if the price now, you remember we were talking about if the price breaks above the first high, we will apply the Fibonacci extension to the prior price action. And the first challenge for the bullish progression is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. The opposite is also true in a downtrend, all right? If the price breaks below, okay, the first lower low, we will apply the Fibonacci extension to the prior, okay, the, the prior price move, which is bearish. And the first challenge for the bearish progression is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. All right. If you're not sure about what we are talking about here, you need to go to www.dayportrader.com 
and click on 138.2% Fibonacci extension. So you may understand what we are discussing here because it's a little bit advanced for some traders, okay? But now, another way to apply the Fibonacci 138.2% Fibonacci extension level is that when we set a target like we did here, so you see the red horizontal line here, this one here, all right? If the price goes above the target, the first challenge for the price is again 138.2% Fibonacci extension level applied to the price action from the beginning to the target level. So you see here, so as the beginning of this price move to the target, it's, for, it's the blue line here, so the, so the price breakout here, so we will apply Fibonacci extension from where the price starts moving up, up to the target. So it starts moving up from here all the way to the target. So remember, this is a market stable data. If the price breaks above a price target, the first challenge for the progression is again the 138.2% Fibonacci uh, extension level. So we apply it to the high in an uptrend. We apply it to the low in a downtrend. But another way to apply the 138.2% Fibonacci testing level is to apply it to price target level. So here, the price out of this triangle, the target is the red line here. So we will apply the Fibonacci extension from the beginning of the price to the target. Here it is, we we'll apply it, okay? Fibonacci extension or retracement. So I'm moving my lines because I want to draw Fibonacci extension. So you start from the top down, and the one three the challenge for the, the price. So it's here you see the, this is our initial target. So we are buying here as a day trader. We will know that the target, possible target, is this red line here. It doesn't mean that the price will definitely go there, but this is the level that all the professionals are watching. They will expect the price to reach that level in normal condition. In normal condition. Here we see that the prior reached the target, so after you see here, the, the, this candle here went and into the target here. But not only that, it went above the target. So what we are saying to traders, another way to use the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level, if a financial instrument goes above a bullish price target, we will apply the Fibonacci extension to the Okay, price action from the beginning to the target level, and we will highlight the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level as I show you here. So the first challenge for the price, if it exceeds the target level, here you see it went above the red line. The challenge for that, the, the price progression, is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. So here you can see that as the price went above the red line, which is the target level, it hit the 138.2%. Can you see here? Let's move this line. You see the 138.2%, this level here? That's it. That's the dotted red line. That's where the price did stop. Okay, you see, we are here. We are here, right here. You see how it came close to the 138.2% level? It just stopped there. Because that's the first challenge for the price action if it exceeds, okay, if the price exceeds the target. This is another way to use, okay, the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level. All right. So if we we apply the if we set a target using, for instance, a head and shoulder chart pattern, prior hit the target. If it goes beyond the target, we'll apply the Fibonacci extension. And the first challenge for the prior after going beyond the target is the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. This is true in an uptrend, it's also true in a downtrend. Why do we need to know? Because <laughs> we, we, we are trading, we want to know possible reversal zone, where the price is likely to change direction, and where professionals are likely to take profit. Now, if you are a new trader, be careful, do not just go and sell and buy because of the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level, I will use what we call a top-down trading method to trade it. Do not just buy and sell because of the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. That is completely wrong. One should use what we call a top-down trading method 
to highlight a valid trading setup around the 138.2% level, and then wait for a signal, and then select a low risk entry point to trade it. That's the best approach to use the 138.2% Fibonacci extension level. All right, this is the end of this video. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give us a thumbs down. We want to know whether you like it or you dislike it, okay? If you love this video, feel free to share it on Google+, Plus, on Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you love our video, feel free to subscribe to our channel, the Day Pro Traders YouTube uh, channels. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be a very happy. We are the TSTW24 Traders talking about another way to use, another way to trade the one three eight point two percent Fibonacci extension level. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Speak to you soon.